Namaste, welcome to Primavera Yoga. We will work today on breath, detox and core, detoxifying the body through breathing and twisting. We're going to build connection between breath and the core and we're going to build awareness in the body. So enjoy, I'm here with beautiful Erzke from Holland in this beautiful place in Lazio, Italy, Italy Farms Day. So we're going to start in the front of the mat. Rolling your shoulders back and down. Inhale, bringing the hands up, crossing the fingers, and stretch to one side. Breathe, deep breathing from the belly. Then inhale up and exhale, stretch to the other side, stretch the side of the torso. Look up, surrendering to the stretch. Good. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, folding forward. Shake your head, relax the face muscles, smile, almost invisible smile. Shake your head in the movement of yes and no. Relax the shoulders. Now bring the hands on the mat if you can, if not, uh, bend your knees. Good. Now come on the tippy toes, squeeze the belly in, bring the left leg up, bend your knee, squeeze the belly in, breathe, squeeze, 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 <laughs> okay now change. Bring the right leg up, squeeze the belly in, strong, good. Bring the leg down and now take the feet a little bit, a little back, further on the mat. And lower your knee down behind the wrist, but still not touching the floor. And we're going to go to down facing dog and back. Knee almost touching the floor. Down facing dog and back, working on our core. Work with control, bring awareness to the core. Still down facing dog and back to knee hovering on the floor. Good. Go back to down facing dog, relax your shoulders. Try to get your heels to the mat, but you don't have to. Look at your knees and breathe deep Ujjayi breath. Good. Each exhale feel like someone is pulling your tailbone up. And we will come to plank. Right knee between the elbows. Come on the tippy toes. On the left side and squeeze your belly in. Step the right foot between your hands and come up to high lunge. Exhale. Bring the hands on the mat in front of you. Now kick the left leg up, heel up. Bring the knee into the rib cage. Really, really squeeze. Step it back into high lunge. Good. And now we're going to repeat it. So hands on the mat, kick, squeeze, and step it back with control and awareness. Good, high lunge. Again, hands on the floor, kick, squeeze, and back to high lunge. Another one. Kick, squeeze, and back to high lunge and last time hands on the mat kick the back leg squeeze your belly and back to high lunge now hands in prayer in front of the chest and we're going to twist bring the elbow on the right knee Good, and breathe. You can bring the knee on the floor, 
if it's too hard for you, the back knee. It's another variation, I will show it. And inhale and exhale. Now I'm gonna do, I'm doing the harder variation now. If you want to see, you're gonna bring the palm of the hands on the floor and the right hand comes up, opening the chest. But then if you need, just bring the knee like I'm doing now on the floor. The most important thing is to twist. Good, so inhale and come back to high lunge and we're gonna go back to plank, chaturanga, inhale, up facing dog, exhale, down facing dog. Feel your breath. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Look at your knees. Lift your tailbone as much as you can. Good. Now inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it between your hands. Come up to high lunge. Bring the hands on the floor. Kick the leg up. Squeeze the booty. Squeeze the knee in. Really, really squeeze the belly. And step it back to high lunge. And again, hands on the floor. Straight back. Kick. Squeeze. And back to high lunge. <coughs> Third time, kick, squeeze the belly, and back to high lunge. Hands on the floor, kick, squeeze, and high lunge. Good, last time. Hands on the floor, kick. Squeeze and high lunge. Beautiful. Bring the hand in prayer and twist to the left. Look up. If you need, you can bring the knee on the mat. Or do any variation that's good for you. And every exhale, try to twist a little more. It's very good for detoxifying the body, all the twisting position. And I really want you to try to breathe a jai, deep breathing here. And surrender. Mm. Good, inhale, come up to high lunge and step in the front of the mat into chair pose. So here, I want the belly in and squeeze the tailbone in, ha uh, shoulders are away from the ears. Beautiful. Look a little bit up and really squeeze the belly. We are working on this part of the body today, so I want you to have awareness to the core. Breathe, enjoy, smile. <laughs> now shift the weight to the right leg. We're going to do another combination. Bring the left knee in the front. And now the leg back, like a flamingo, hands on the floor. And we're going to come up slowly with balance to dancer pose. We're going to stretch the hip flexor. Good. Okay, we're going to do it again. Hands on the mat. Squeeze the knee to the rib cage. Belly in strong. And slowly, slowly concentrate on one point and come up to dancer pose. <laughs> A little bit difficult also for me. Hands on the mat. Knee squeezing in and come up to dancer pose. Good. Knee in, hands on the mat, dancer pose. Good. And bring the feet down and let's go back to chair pose. I hope your booty is on fire like mine. 
you're going to shift to the left side, right knee to the front, squeeze in, and now go to stretching the hip flex and dancer both hands on the mat, squeeze the knee in, and come up. Now the left leg on the floor, right leg in dancer pose, hands on the mat, squeeze the right knee in to the rib cage and come up slowly, slowly, slowly to dancer pose. Good, hands on the mat, squeeze the knee in, belly in, and slowly come up to dancer pose. Good. Knee comes to the mat and let's go back to chair pose, belly in. Step your feet, hips wide apart, hands in prayer and twist, lengthen through the crown of the head. And let's do the other side. Lengthen back to the center, sit back, and yes, strong. You can bring the hands in front of you. And now fold forward. Let's go back to plank, strong plank. Chaturanga, inhale, up facing dog. Another Chaturanga. And let's go back to plank. Walk your feet in behind the forearms and squeeze the belly in. Lift the knee from the floor and squeeze all in. Good. Bring your knees on the mat, relax. Let's do it again. Hands on the floor beneath the shoulders and bring the knees up and down. Again, and each time you bring the knees up, squeeze your belly in like a vacuum. Good, now we can sit down on the mat. Now, left leg straight, bend the right knee, hold the right knee, stretch your back, shoulders down, and let's go a little bit. Lean back, squeeze the belly in. Squeeze it strong and breathe, and now bring the left leg up. Hold, and now we're going to interlock the fingers and we're going to move from side to side. Each time you move to the one side, exhale. Good. Back to the center, bring the leg down, and let's do the other side. Now back, uh, bend the left knee, hold it, lean back, belly in, shoulders away from the ears, interlock the fingers, bring the right leg up, strong and straight, and let's twist. Good, and exhale each twisting. Good, back down and let's go back to our table pose. Knees hovering from the floor, belly squeezing in. And now here we're going to twist from side to side. So knee to the right elbow, to the left elbow, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Squeeze, 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 strong. You can do it, you can do it, and relax. Beautiful. Back to sitting. Straight back, long legs. Shoulders down, lean back. Good. Arms in front of you, squeeze the belly in. And come back up again, exhale. And now we're gonna alternate our hands up and down. Still belly in strong. Exhale in each time you bring another arm up. <laughs> good, good, good. You can do it. Don't forget to breathe. Good. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold forward. Relax your back. Beautiful. Let's come back. To table pose. We are killing our core today. Knees up, 
squeezing the belly in. We are working today on different muscles of the core and bringing the prana, the energy of life, in that area. Left knee touching the right elbow, and then the left elbow, right elbow, left elbow, right elbow, left elbow, right elbow, left elbow, right, left, right, left, squeeze the belly in, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, good, relax. <laughs> Now let's do the other side, left knee, touching the left elbow, right, left, right, left, right, and both knee off the mat, left, right, left, right, and relax, good, sweating, <laughs> sit back on your heels, come back to your breath, lengthen through the crown of the head, good, and now we are going back, to our all fours position. Again, hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, and we're gonna bring the knees off the floor and we're gonna squeeze our buttocks. So we're gonna work on our core and also on our buttocks and exhale each time you're squeezing. We're working on our shoulders also. Everything is working here, perfect. A little bit more, squeeze the belly in, breathe, great, let's go back to down facing dog, you can also do your child pose if you need, and walk back with your hands, folding forward, go back to your breath, good, relax your face muscles, your neck, Now let's bring the knees down, cross your feet and come back to sitting. Bring your legs in front of you, bend your knees and lean back. Pull the belly in, hold. Press the palms together, not like I'm doing now, but palms together and turn to one side, center, once the other side and center, each time you're twisting, exhale, keep the chest open, try to do 20, good, come back up and fold forward, grab your shin bones or your feet, if you want, you can also straight your back and look up. We're going to do it again, but I want you to try to bring in the Mula Bandha, the Kegel muscle. So that's the first chakra. So it will create connection with the earth. So we're going to do it again, and you're going to try that, if you know how to squeeze your Mula Bandha. So again. Bend your knees, lean back, squeeze the belly in, palm of the hands together, and twisting. Pull the belly in, pull the banda in. Let's go. Good, relax. Let's go again to all fours position. Knee off the mat, belly squeezing in, and now we're gonna walk between our elbows. Try to get your knees between your elbows and let's go back to plank. Good, let's do it again. Walking small steps until your knee gets into your elbows if you can and go back to plank. Again, walking, squeezing the belly and let's go back to plank. And you can sit down between your feet. You can lean on your elbows and or go all the way down and lay on your back. Go back to your breath. Breathe into your belly.
Breathe, breathe. <laughs> if you need, you can come up. If you feel comfortable, you can stay. And now let's reverse it, come all the way up. Let's go back again to all fours position, hands beneath the shoulders, knees between the hips. We're going to bring the knees up off the mat, squeezing the belly in. And now we're going to kick to one side and kick to the other side. Kick, 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 good, kick, belly in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All the body is working here. A little bit more. Kick, kick. Kick, kick, more, 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 and relax. Very, very good. Go back to down facing dog or child pose if you want. You can do some wave motions like I'm doing here, relaxing the, the back. Now let's bring the left foot between the hands and we're gonna just move our body to the long side of the mat so we can fold forward with straight legs try not to open too much your legs like three four feet apart it's enough and yeah try to get your head to the mat relax the neck you can bring your hands on your shin bones holding your big toes or you can bring the hands on the mat good inhale come all the way up with a straight back let's bend the right knee and let's bend the left right left straight back right left 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 belly in right left and breathe right left right left good keep on and relax Okay, straight leg and again with a straight back, let's go all the way down, relax the neck, relax the shoulders, bring the right hand on the floor, left arm open to the sky, look up and do it to the other side. So left hand on the floor, right arm comes up, look up, twisting and back to the floor. Let's bend our knees and we're going to do another combination. Straight your left leg, long and strong, hands beneath the head. And now we're going to lean to one side and lean to the other. We're going to work on our diagonals. Good. Each time you lean to one side, you're going to exhale. And it's a small movement, but it's very, very good. I love this exercise. Good. Exhale. Each time you lean to one side and to the other one. Belly squeezing in all the time. A little bit more. And good. You're going to bring now the hands beneath the shoulders. Left arm up. Bring the leg up. And we're going to do a small, small movement. You're going to work on the outer side of the thigh and the buttocks. So small movement. And come back down. Let's do the other side. So right leg strong and long. Hands beneath the head. And let's lean to one side and to the other side. Exhaling each time we're going to lean to one side and to the other. Good. Belly squeezing in. Straight back. Good. Keep on. And 
a little bit more. <laughs> Good. Bring the left hand on the floor beneath the shoulders. Bring the right leg up. Squeeze long. Point in the foot and small, small movements. Up and down. Good. Keep on. Okay, relax down and you can go to child pose. Relax your shoulders. Place of the hand looking at each other. I'm going to do a nice stretch to landscape. Let's lay on our back. Press your hands together. Balancing pose for shoulders, hips, and the neck. Reach your arms over the head and come up. Over the head, come up. Over the head and up. Shoulders all the time on the floor. Good. Now bring the hands behind the neck and squeeze the belly in. Bring the head up. Squeeze the belly in and go down, lay down. Again. Pull the belly in and relax. Pull the belly in, bring the head up, squeeze, 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 and relax, let's do it again, squeeze the belly, bring the head up, squeeze the belly, and relax, and again, squeeze the belly, bring the head up, very good, again, squeeze, <laughs> good, relax, amazing. Now if you can go to plow, join me, stretch the spine, that's really help the metabolism, shoulders, stand from here if you can. So you can stay in plow or you can support your back and go up to shoulder stand. can play with your legs, <laughs> bring the right leg down, left leg down, doing some bicycle movements, just play, let the blood flow to your head and then go back to plow, top off the things on the floor, and now if you want bend your knees and bring the knees over the ears, And now slowly vertebra after vertebra. Let's bring the back on the floor and legs on the floor. Very good. You can open the feet to the side. Palm of the hands looking to the sky. And relax your body. Bend the right knee, bring it close to your chest. And with the left hand, let's twist to the left. Look to the right side, both shoulders on the mat. Breathe, deep breathing from the belly. Good, back to the center. Relax the leg and bring the left knee close to your chest. With the right hand, we're going to twist to the right. Look to the left. Both shoulders on the mat, it's more important than bringing the knee to the floor. Good, and relax. Breathe, deep breathing. Good, back to the center. Bend both knees, bring them to the chest. You can turn from side to side, doing a massage to the lower back. Now let's go to happy baby. Bend the knees, you can hold the outer side of the feet or the big toes and Twist from side to side. Good, relax the back. Now if you want, you can also open the legs to the side and stretching the legs. You can hold your big toes or your shin bones, ankles. Lower back on the floor. Good, let's do the face cow pose. So you're going to bring one knee over the other, holding the feet and bring them close to you. That's a very, very good hip openers. Beautiful. 
Let's change side. One knee over the other, holding the feet and bring them close to you. Feel the hip opener and breathe into the stretch. Good. Feet together in butterfly pose. Bring the uh, hold the feet and bring them close to you. Open the knee to the side. Good. Now the same position. Just bring it down to the butterfly reclining pose. You can bring one hand on the belly, the other hand on the heart. And breathe, opening the hips. Beautiful. Okay, I think we can go for Shavasana. So you can stay in this position for all the Shavasana. Or you can straighten your legs, open the feet to the side, open the palm of the hand up to the sky, and relaxing the body. Relax your feet, relax your calf muscles, relax your knees, your upper thigh, lower thigh, inner thigh. Relax your outer thigh, relax your buttocks, your hips, relax your belly, your lower back, middle back, relax your upper back, shoulders, your chest, relax your arm, hands, and fingers, <clears throat> relax your neck, relax your face, your eyes, your cheeks, your mouth, all the body is relaxed, melting on the floor, feeling heavy, You can stay in Shavasana and close the video. Or if you're ready, start to move your fingers and your toes. You can move the tongue inside the mouth, licking your lips, stretching from side to side. And when you feel ready, turn to the right side and lay down like a baby. Mm. Slowly come up to a sitting position, still with your eyes closed. Bring the hands over the knees and stay still. If you have thoughts, try to observe them and not to get attached to them.
Now let's slowly bring the hands over the third eye to always seeing the truth. And let's bring the hands over the lips to always expressing the truth. And let's bring the hands over the heart. And let's bow our heart for their forgiveness, compassion and love. Thank you all for joining me today. I'm wishing you a beautiful day or night. And I hope I'm going to see you soon. Namaste.